Today, more than half of the world's population lives in cities. The rapid and complex urbanization process raises many consequences for our societies at the social, economic, environmental, and cultural levels. In response, cities are enhancing their creative and innovative entrepreneurial potential. Increasing use of social media and digital technologies boost cultural diversity as well as build new bridges for global cooperation. In this context, cities are playing a vital role in harnessing creativity for socioeconomic development and dialogue within and between societies. Parce que créer, c'est l'avenir d'une ville. Alors, euh, si on ne fait pas confiance euh, aux personnes qui peuvent réellement façonner l'avenir, euh, c'est difficile de bâtir une ville. Cultural industries are the foundation for enterprise and dynamism for places. I'd say that actually investing in those things unlocks the asset base, which is your citizenry, because it gives people um, confidence, pride, self-esteem, skills. Um, they take responsibility for their lives, and they bring contributions to the table that create that energy. For growth. The citizens were generated their incomes since we became a creative city. So creative city was so benefit for the citizens themselves. More than 20% of our workforce is engaged in uh, cultural industries, whether it's art, theater, literature, dance, uh, those types of activities. As cidades criativas elas podem contribuir naturalmente para o desenvolvimento sustentável a partir do momento em que elas implantam políticas de economia criativa, uma economia limpa, não poluente, que envolve atividade cultural, a criatividade das pessoas. Culture make the people united. Culture make the people to be proud and culture also develop the city's economy also. That's why we should be creative and I think we should be proud to be a citizen. Since 2004, UNESCO has been gathering cities to share experiences in seven fields of creative industries. Literature, film, music, crafts and folk art, design, media arts, and gastronomy. This global platform aims to give visibility to the city members and encourages them to establish international development partnerships in creative industries. Today, more than 30 cities from different continents have joined the UNESCO Creative Cities Network. The network is open to cities that wish to highlight their assets in the field of creative industries while sharing knowledge and practices across cultural clusters around the world. The cities in this network already have great stories to tell, great practices that we can learn from. We've run some joint projects over the last few years, just exchanging writers and creatives um, and running cross art form projects as well. We recently ran one with Glasgow UNESCO City Music called Let's Get Lyrical and that was very successful. The music cities within the creative network are already very active and very discussive. We, we meet quite regularly, we know each other, and there is a chance now to start doing things, and we already are working on UNESCO Music Days as a possibility to share the talent within each of the cities. We would like to get to us new knowledge that can also develop us, so we see it as incredibly exciting to be C'est en travaillant davantage ensemble, en se faisant confiance mutuellement, profitant des, des expériences qui peuvent être différentes, qu'on va réellement innover et changer le monde. Les gens se posent la question, est-ce que c'est possible de changer le monde? Moi, je renverse la question, puis je dis, est-ce qu'on a le choix de ne pas changer le monde? Et la culture et le design sont deux vecteurs essentiels pour l'avenir de l'humanité. The growing momentum reflected by this global network confirms that cities have become key actors to promote cultural diversity and dialogue, as well as to create new opportunities for development through unique forms of partnerships. <laughs>